Welcome back, everyone, to The Legends of Zelda Majora's Mask Part 12. Part 11 was another, like, setup part. We got the Gilded Sword, the most powerful sword in the game. That is going to help us a lot. We also got, um, one new mask. This one. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we did. And then, you know, we kind of ran around and got some heart pieces and stuff, but now we can finally continue on with the story and make our way to the Bay Area. So, let's get on that. So, it's that time of year, huh? I feel like after Christmas, everything gets, like, depressing. There's, like, a- there's, like, a very small time gap. You have, like, from Christmas to December 31st, which is, like, five or six days, and... You know, get your stuff done before the new year happens, because I have a feeling 2024... It's gonna be an interesting year. A lot of happiness, a lot of sadness, that's my prediction for it. I don't know if I'm manifesting it, or if it's just, that's how it's gonna happen. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see what happens, but I have a feeling 2024 will be... will be a fun year. Oh yeah, we did kind of... I did kind of cheat. Um... We also got a Pona in part 11 as well, so what I did was, real quickly, I ran... ...to the Great Bay area, and I got the warp so we don't have to call her. I I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really do not like the or a part of this game, or the Bay Area, I really don't like this part. So honestly, a lot of the parts that I'm going to be making that revolve around the Great Bay Area, I'm going to be cutting a lot because I, I hate this area so much. It's just such a pain in the ass for some reason. Oh, but, you know, we'll, we'll get through it. The temple's annoying. And don't get me wrong, like, the, the story around the Great Bay Area and the Zoras is, is a tragic one, but... Just, like, doing it just sucks. Oh my god, I forgot to slow down time. Alright, we'll do it after we get this guy to shore. Heal. Sorry, it's been a while since I've done the song healing. But don't worry, Mr. Zora, man. We'll... We'll, we'll put your soul at peace.
It's one hell of a band. L let me stress this enough. I don't hate the characters in the Zor area. Like, I love them. I think it's really interesting. It's just the, the tasks that you have to do. Like, we have to steal back the eggs and go through the Garuda Pirates, which is such a pain in the ass. And then we have to do the Water Temple, which is a big pain in the ass. And it's just like... I mean... It... And we got the Zora mask, which is honestly one of the coolest masks. I mean, my favorite's the Goron, but this one's also really cool, because you get to be a freaking Zora. And swim, and... Do all the cool stuff Zoras can do. And... And... Wait for this. show you. And we get a guitar. I did that by accident. Gonna shred Metallica on the Zora guitar. Alright, so let's make our way... We have to get the, the, the Zora eggs. Luckily we have three bottles, so I'm actually glad we went to the farm or the ranch last part because it's gonna be easier for us. Oh yeah, we could swim. We can dive. We can do all the stuff Zoras can do. We could do this thing, which will help us very much so. See this Ike Ike? Dead. I think. Did he die? Yep. Alright, let's enough daily dallying. Let's uh let's continue on. Seven eggs, okay. This is gonna be a fun part. I thought there was only like three eggs, but no, there's seven. God damn it. Yeah, again, this part is gonna be... I might split this up into like three separate parts, I don't know. The water temple is definitely gonna be its own part. And that's going to be fun to do. I mean, it is cool to swim around and stuff like that. It's, it's fun. It gives you nice freedom because I think this is the first time in, like, a Zelda game where you can actually, like, swim around like a Zora and stuff like that. Until Twilight Princess comes and gives you the Sora suit, but I feel like it's not as much freedom with the swimming in Twilight Princess. Like, they could have done a little bit more, I feel like. But, you know, it's fine. Here we go, my favorite place in the whole game.
we gotta be careful here. Alright, alright. We also get the hook shot. I just don't know when we get it. We do get the hook shot though. And we need more weight for this. To the Goron mask. Sorry if you heard my controller vibrate. But this, the Zora mask is the last mask, excuse me, the Zora mask is the last mask we get that transforms us into, well, eh, that's not true. There is an optional mask that makes you transform into something, but that's, that's, uh, you'll see eventually. But this is the last, like, story-driven transformation, transformation mask that we have. Gotta be careful with that vent because if we uh, we're not careful, that thing will blow up. I mean, that thing will blow us out, and then we have to go all the way back in again. All right, that was totally by accident. Wonder how we get to it. Break the barrels, I'm assuming, maybe, you know? Very nice. How many heart pieces do I have again? Oh, okay. Alright, I got one. Nice. I need the arrow. Actually, wait, no. I think we can hit it with... Link got like little wing boomerangs, which is also really cool. No, no, wait, 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 Go, go, wait, can I make it? Can I make it? Oh, you. Oh, that sucks. You know, it makes you think why the Gerudos are dealing these eggs. Like, what is the purpose? Are they stealing it for money? Are they stealing it for food? Like, what? what is their, what is their goal here? I, I don't, I don't think, 
I'm sure there's like some answer somewhere on like the Zelda wiki or whatever. Oh, I screwed up. I have to stand on the thing and then shoot it. Oops. Wait, what? Damn it. Do I need a bomb. Yeah, we didn't go any higher with that. Alright, so I think after I complete the pirate area level, I might split this up into a whole another part because this is a long time. What the hell? So thank you guys for watching. This is kind of the slow point of the game in my opinion, but I will see you guys in part 13. I hope you have a good rest of your day slash night wherever you are in the world and take care.